Earthbed. Good day, learners. This is Earthpen. Today, we are going to talk about the difference between RAM and ROM. Have you ever bought a laptop or are you planning to buy a laptop but doesn't know what model and brand to buy? There are key specifications or key specs you need to know before buying one. The three important specs we need to look before buying laptops are the operating system, the RAM, and ROM of the laptop. Now many people often interchange the functions of RAM and ROM or don't know the difference of the two components or even don't know these two components at all. Before we discuss the difference between RAM and ROM, let's define the two components first. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. This is one of the most important components of a computer, cell phone, tablet, and other devices. Without RAM, doing something in your laptop or device is much slower or even applications in your device like Netflix, Mobile Legends, Facebook, etc. cannot be opened. RAM is considered a storage since it stores data or information in your device temporarily. Even though it is considered storage, RAM is volatile or volatile type storage meaning when you turn off your laptop or device, all the data or information stored in RAM will be deleted. The most common type of RAM is the dynamic RAM or DRAM. In DRAM, each memory cell is composed of a transistor and capacitor within the integrated circuits or IC that stores electrical charges. It is called dynamic since it holds charges briefly before it drains and needed to refresh or recharge again every few milliseconds to retain data. DRAM's latency or the time it takes to send information is around 100 nanoseconds. Now 100 nanoseconds is quite fast already but for the modern CPU the 100 nanoseconds is too long. That's why another type of RAM is introduced and this is the static RAM or SRAM. SRAM is made up of 4 to 6 interlock transistors. SRAM doesn't need refreshing that's why it is the fastest memory in computer system but it also the most expensive part of computer. For the storage capacity, RAM can store multiple gigabytes of data ranging from 1 to 256 gigabytes per chip. So that's the brief information about RAM. Now let's discuss what ROM is all about. ROM stands for read-only memory. As what the name indicates, it can only read data. ROM is also a storage medium that stores information permanently, meaning it is non-volatile memory. So even if you turn off your computer, the data in ROM will remain. A ROM stores such instructions that are required to start a computer, and this operation is called the bootstrap. For example, when you start your computer, the screen doesn't appear instantly. It requires time to appear as there are instructions stored in ROM which are required to start the computer during booting process. Also, ROM is much slower and much cheaper than that of ROM. The differences between RAM and ROM are based on their uses, storage capabilities, capacity, and physical sizes of their chips. Now look at this table where I summarize the differences of RAM and ROM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, while ROM stands for Read-Only Memory. RAM is a volatile memory, meaning it requires power to store data. 
On the other hand, ROM is a non-volatile memory and doesn't need power to store data. For the data access, RAM data can be read, erased, or modified, while ROM data is a read-only data. The usage of RAM is to store data for current instruction processing like opening an application, opening new tab, or data while playing games. In contrast to that, ROM stores data that are required to start a computer or to bootstrap the computer. RAM has a storage capacity from 1 to 256 gig or gigabytes per chip while ROM has a storage capacity of 4 to 8 MB only per chip. And lastly, the physical size of a RAM varies whether it is used for desktop computer or laptop. Desktop ROM is about 5.5 inches in length and 1 inch in width while laptop ROM is just half the length of desktop computer. For ROM, size varies from less than an inch in length to multiple inches in length and width depending on their use. So that's it guys, did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned something today. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.